Greed, jealousy, obsession. Yeah, that's me dead on the floor. We'll get to that in a minute. Gotta go back to where it started. And it all started with a phone call. Yeah, this is Morris. I'm looking to hire a private eye to find my missing husband. Lady, I've been out of that game for ten years. She sounded hot, but I've been fooled before. Well, I can pay you very handsomely. Well, now the broad is starting to speak my language. Excuse me? I, I'll take the case. So I did a run on this guy. Squeaky clean. Nothing but a couple of unpaid parking tickets. He seems to be a bit of a drinker. I can't say I blame him. Likes to hang at this underground dive bar uptown. I know the place all too well. PI work is a dirty game. That's why I gave it up. Babysitting rich wives, husbands, keeping them from doing something stupid. I was good at it. Real good. Will you shut the fuck up? Lossie, what you doing over there? Come on now! Sorry, sorry. All the scotch, neat. We're closed. All right. I'll just drink my own. I'm looking for a guy. Huh. Well, you're about a day late there, bub. Wednesday night's gay night. <laughs> I feel like this guy's playing hardball. <laughs> well, you better start giving me some answers. What? 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 I'm looking for a Mr. Andrew Dundalk. Maybe you've seen him. I've heard he's a regular. Yeah. He actually used to sit right where you're sitting. Drinking a Shirley Temple like how you're drinking your drink. He would come in every night for four or five hours and play his accordion the whole time. Played the accordion? Yeah, he played the accordion. But it's not like he played it any good. It was the worst sounding thing I've ever heard. And he never got it. No matter how much you told him to stop, he still played it. Well, was he alone? No, he wasn't alone. He was always with some leggy broad that was kissing on him and hugging on him and touching the accordion. It was disgusting. His wife? I don't fucking know, I hated the guy, okay? He would come in here, play his accordion with this broad, and he would just drive everyone crazy. I swear to God, if I ever see him again, I'm gonna beat him over the head with it until I kill him. Well, maybe I should tell you that it's possible Mr. Dundalk's been murdered. Oh, is that so? Well. That's mighty unfortunate for him. I think I'm good here. Say, how's the bar food? They don't serve bar food here. Thanks for your time. Seriously? A quarter? What am I gonna do, buy a gumball, asshole? Nine? Evening, Mrs. Dundalk. Evening. Fancy seeing you here. Figured you'd be at home, worried about your husband. Ever since my husband's disappeared, I'm afraid to be home alone. It's funny. Kevin McAllister wasn't afraid to be home alone. Hmm. Looks like you're dry. Why don't you come back to my place so I can wet your lips? Little did she know, my lips were already wet.
Thank you, doll. Sure. Those are nice pearls. Thanks. I wanted to look nice for you. Is that why you took the wedding ring off? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> don't play coy with me. I've uncovered your dirty laundry. Your husband's accordion. Your fingers don't fit in the strap with the wedding ring on. I don't know what you're talking about. You killed your husband, and you did it for the insurance money. I saw the letters. Why else would you take out a policy three days before his disappearance? Everyone hated him and his accordion. If something were to happen to him, where would that leave me? Dirty and rich. I don't need to take You're this. You're coming down to the station. Don't touch me! Get back here! I'm used to women falling for me. Just not like this. Not like this. No. Not this time. It's gotten me into too much trouble. So this is where we all started. A dead girl, a dead cop. A murderer on the loose. Husband still missing, probably dead the same. Just one thing I still can't figure out. I probably died like five minutes ago. So how am I still talking?